that means, but Paul assures me it's great. <laughs> live blogger jobs, you know, it's, it's more like, you know, uh, localized recruitment kind of things. I don't know what the Ice Geek than Tweet is recruiting, but it looks like the rest of the stuff kind of is like financial news or, you know, tweeting kind of stuff. Uh, and then, you know, the, the lower you get or the closer to zero, you start to see some scammers, like the money wholesale. You know, nobody sells money wholesale that I'm aware of, but if you do, <laughs> I'd like to know about this. You know, in the L.A. restaurants, I mean, there's not really anywhere good to eat in L.A. except for Pink's. But uh, so when you get the negative numbers, you, you definitely find, uh, find scammers like you know, uh, instant biz tips, cam for porn. I, I do know what that one is. Tweet stock tips and this 365 buying, you know, uh, dot com. So the, 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 the lower, like the, the farther down negative you go on the tweet number, the more distinctive people uh, uh, or scammers uh, become. So like this is, this is an example. This is a, a, a site of a, a, a Twitter follower. He has got a friend follower delta of uh, negative three two, but he's got a tweet number of 108, which means he, he's he's basically tweeting all the time, but no one's really you know following. Him. Uh, and if if you take a look at it um, and you go to the site, it's a free software site where you can download. Uh, well, they purport you can download all kinds of different activities, uh, but if you take a look at the Google Diagnostic page, it becomes more clear what it actually is. Uh, you know. 10 Trojans, four exploits, one scripting exploit in the last 90 days that you know, Google scanned it. So obviously it's not a very good site. And with that, we're going to go into the top 10 search terms used by malware. This is, this is actually the money shot of our presentation. <laughs> the money shot. The money so, shot. So it's interesting. So we looked at you know kind of what's going on on, on the different search engines. Uh, we looked at kind of what's happening on, on Google, being Yahoo. Uh, we drilled into to Twitter a little bit more uh, to see kind of how the the attackers are uh, creating fake accounts. You know, we saw that over seventy percent of the accounts on there really aren't using the network. Uh, you know, we looked at the type types of categories that malware likes, the ones that malware doesn't like. Uh, and so, you know, we, we learned a, a lot about kind of how this is happening, the scale of, of these search engine optimization attacks. And so, you know, one of the things we, we talked about is the categories. We talked about the fact that, you know, we did this for 57 days. We, we saw over 25,000 search terms, 5 million results. Uh, but out of those 25,000 search terms, you know, there are some that are, are more popular than others. There are some that are kind of used more by attackers than, than, than not. And so we want to understand kind of, you know, what are those, what are those search terms? Which ones are, are, are being used? So it's a very wide set of things. You know, so, so on the list we had a, a couple uh, NFL players, we had some politicians, some actresses. Uh, we had, you know, you look at, you know, one of the guys on the list was a guy named Adam Willer. Uh, anyone heard of Adam Willer? Uh, it's a guy that cheated his way into Harvard, kind of forged transcripts, uh, got into Harvard, full scholarship, and now he's facing about 20 charges, uh, identity fraud, fr uh, uh, forgery, larceny. Uh, so, you know, the, the poor guy is kind of having some troubles right now. So as this news broke, his he became, you know, one of the, the top, <laughs> his, yeah, he's hiding, he's hiding. Yeah, that's at least his problem. <laughs> so, you know, uh, look at the top search term, uh, it was a lady named Lois Wilson. Uh, Lois Wilson and her husband started uh, Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> so, you know, what happened, the reason she was trending is on April 24th, uh, there was a movie that came out that told her life story. And so she was actually, if you look at all the tally of the results of the malware that we found, she was the top search result that was being used. And we're like, we're in Vegas, this is DEF CON. That's not a very interesting term to like say it was the top of the list. So we went to our scientific poll and we said, hmm, Let's really understand kind of what's our favorite search term that was used for malware. Kind of what's the viewer's choice. So what we, what we came up with is if you look at the number two search term used by malware, uh, is a term uh, that is Hope Dworsky. Uh, Hope was a, is a model, uh, actress, uh, TV personality. Uh, she was Playmate of the Month in April 2009. Uh, she's on the, the cover with Seth Rogen. Uh, and last month she was named Playmate of the Year. So if you look back at, at the covers, you know, Seth is, is hitting, having fun with a, with a fan there. If you look at the, the issue in June, it was interesting because there was actually a, a, a 3D uh, photo shoot. So, you know, you got the magazine, you got some 3D glasses, and, you know, I, I was sitting here thinking, like, hey, can we get enough 3D glasses for the room? <laughs> and I wasn't able to get enough 3D glasses for the room, but what we were able to do was have help, uh, Hope come and join us uh, as the viewer's choice of the best reason to click on malware in 2010. So I'd like to introduce Hope. <laughs> Hello, 
thank you for having me. <laughs> uh, so, so thanks for, for coming out. Uh, thanks for uh, uh, stopping by uh, Vegas. Thank you for stopping by DEF CON. Uh, have you been to DEF CON before? <laughs> I've never been here, but I've been told to turn my Wi-Fi off and my Bluetooth. I don't know if that's right, but <laughs> it's off. <laughs> so, at, at, you know, obviously you, you, you've been busy, had a, a lot of success. Uh, your, your name's all over the place. And, uh, you know, what we found is that, you know, the attackers are using your name. Uh, did you know about this at all? Or, like, what do you think about it? Everybody Googles themselves, first of all. So, <laughs> of course I've Googled myself and I've seen my name with things that I know I haven't been a part of or I haven't done. So that was not news to me, I guess. But the part where I was part of viruses uh -huh. or any of this definitely was. So when I got the call to come in, I was more interested and I wanted to know why or find out more about it. Interesting, interesting. Uh, so, you know, one thing we, we, we looked up is uh, you use Twitter. Uh, your, your tweet number happens to be 1.03, in case you need to know that. 1.03 means what? 1.03 means you tweet on average 1.03 times a day. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you needed to know that. Sometimes I'm like seven times in a day and other times I go like two weeks without doing it. So it's different all the time. <laughs> So you actually, you, you, you've been on Twitter for, for, for a while now. You, you have this verified account. You have over uh, 10,000 followers. Uh, you know, we're, t we're talking about how the attackers are using social media. Uh, you know, how, how are you using it? Uh, how does it change your life at all? Or what do you think about the, the, the technology at all? I think the coolest thing about Twitter or having a Facebook account, um, mainly Twitter, is that you can communicate with people instantly. So I might send out a tweet. Last night I took my grandmother who told me to pose for Playboy when I was questioned whether I should do it or not. <laughs> I took her to the Playboy Mansion to make, meet Hugh Hefner. So I tweeted that this morning and I directly go to my at replies and I can read you know, whoever's replying immediately. And it's really cool to read it and then sometimes reply or send a direct message. So that's what I use it for. I like it that I can communicate with people that normally can't reach me and I can't normally reach. Wait a second. That's a, <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't talk about this beforehand, but so your grandmother told you to pose and then you took your grandmother to meet uh, Hefner last night. It's really a funny story. I, I'm from Texas, a small town in Texas, and when I was approached to pose for Playboy, I was scared to death to tell anybody. So I put it off for months, and I didn't tell you know, anybody like, hey, they want me to be on a cover with Seth Rogen from like Knocked Up and Pineapple Express. So I didn't tell anybody. I was just like leaving it on the table, and the first person I told was my Nana. And Nana said if I was your age and I had the opportunity, I'd go for it. So... <laughs> <laughs> so when she visited me in LA last week, her last night was her last night there, and so I took her up to meet Hef. Nice. Can, I, can I ask a question? Go for it. I, I just have a, uh, I want to ask a question everybody wants to know here. So if you're a computer hacker and you're in a casino and you see a playmate at the bar, how do you approach her? <laughs> Probably start talking nerdy to us because we're kind of into that. If you're telling us you could do it but you won't because you think we're nice or sweet, we'll be into you. Because I really don't want any of my stuff hacked after I leave here. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So the best way to, 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 to impress her is not to, to hack her site. She was, we were walking in. She's like, am I going to go home and my, sock, my site's going to be down? <laughs> Uh, so with that, uh, that kind of wraps up our session. Thanks again to, to Holt. We have a, a, a little token for you again as, as you know, Bex excuse to click on malware for 2010. Uh, so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Got it. So we, you know, actually have a couple minutes left. Uh, so are there any questions? For us. Yeah, is there any questions for us? The two guys. I'm Paul, he's David, Barracuda, anybody remember that? Okay. Sir. Okay. Okay. Got it. Uh, so, a question? Yeah, uh, best defense recommendation for a lot of these search The best defense. Uh, so, you know, what's, what's interesting? Hey, thanks. 
So the question was, uh, any recommendations for the best defense uh, for, for these attacks? Uh, so my marketing department would, would like if I said Barracuda right now. But, you know, the, the point is that, uh, the point is that, you know, most of these things, you know, 98% of them were things that were flagged by existing technology. Right, so URL filtering, you know, antivirus signatures, uh, you know, malware lookup databases. So the, the good news is, as long as you're using some protection, right? <laughs> yeah, we're, still, we're, we're still talking about the search stuff, right? Hey, apply that to any part of your life that's appropriate. As long as you're using some protection, you know, 98% of these things uh, you will actually be defended from. So the, the, the biggest problem, and, and it's hard to say this as a, as a security researcher, we, we, we spend more time looking at the problem than the solution, mm -hmm. and most of the solution just seems to be train people better, but that's not really a scalable solution. Uh, another question? Sir? Uh, so the question was about, uh, you know, Paul Vixie creating a, a reputation site and, and, and being sued. Uh, so it's, it's, it's interesting, you know, always to kind of see the attackers use the legal system um, uh, against kind of people that are trying to defend. Uh, so we, we, you know, we, we've kind of had to, to deal with, with things along those lines, certainly, but it's kind of part of uh, the risk of, of the business. Uh, so with that, uh, I think I'll wrap. Uh, for uh, those of you that are interested, uh, we'll be in room uh, QA5. Uh, our, our friend Hope will, will be there as well uh, for a few minutes uh, if you're interested in, in asking more questions about our result or having a picture with Hope. So, hey, thanks for having us. Have a good day.